Heather, the third co-founder of Twista. All right, Heather, so it's you, Bill, and Mike, and I hear you and Mike go back for quite a ways. You want to tell me about that? Yeah, so um, Mike and I, we met at AOL. We both worked at AOL back in, like, 2000, 2003, through that time. And um, I, I was a product manager, and Mike was in design. He'd always, like, do, like, hang out with the cool design creative folks. <laughs> I wanted to hang out with them, too. So I would just always go hang out. We became friends. And... I don't know, one day I think we were just like joking around and I was really into uh, superheroes and cartoons and in a startup, you know, like in technology in the Bay Area, you're like, you know, play with Nerf guns and have like little figures and, and into really custom things like that. And so we were just joking around and I think we, we became Wonder Twins. And so... <laughs> so my, Isn't this how all businesses start? <laughs> I don't know. I, uh, my businesses are like that. So... Um, we would joke around, we were Wonder Twins, and so every time we'd see each other in the, in the hallways, which would be like in D.C. or in Mountain View, we'd be like, Wonder Twin Powers, activate! In like, form of Rock of Ice, form of Bucket, and you know, like, that's just, like, we, once you're like Wonder Twins with someone, it's just like, you can't ever forget. So then we kind of like went our separate ways. I moved to LA. Um, we lost touch, and I I started. Uh, I moved to LA, and I started doing the geek dinners here. And I had kind of like heard rumors about this twist up event, and I was like, okay, who's doing the twist up event? Like another like really cool tech event because there weren't very many tech events happening in LA because, as we know, LA is mostly an entertainment town. Um, but. I found out and I, I, I looked at the page and I was like, who's doing this? And I was like, oh, it's my Wonder Twin Powers. It's so perfect. So like I immediately like called him. And we got on the phone. We got back in touch after three years. And you know, he's like, Wonder Twin. And I'm like, Wonder Twin. And we're like, let's join Powers. And wow, is that like Bono over there? Well, this party has gotten that cool, so probably. I think I think that, wow. Sorry, I shouldn't be distracted by celebrities. I mean, it's like every day in LA. Because this like, isn't their party. This is your party. That's right. <laughs> Sorry. Um, anyway, Bono's not a Wonder Twin. He's not a Wonder Twin. No, he wants to be. He I wishes he was. But I know. Not. But there can't be three Wonder Twins. No, that would be Wonder Triplets, and that's just not happening here. But Bono could be like the, the monkey. Or you could be the weird uncle that lives in an ice tower. Right, yes. <laughs> so anyway, um, yeah, so that's how we met, Wonder Twins. Mike and I are Wonder Twins, and when he wanted to do this event down here in L.A., uh, it was, I was like, yeah, let's do it. Let's join forces again. What, what I think is really interesting is that he picked the name Twist Up, and my company is called the Purple Tornado. Yeah, and, and Mister. I know, it's like totally like... Same idea, but like different name. And my company's colors are purple, and Twist Up is orange, and those are kind of like complementary colors. I think they go pretty well together. Yeah, it's just really, it's like, of course, it shouldn't be surprising that Wonder Twins come up with the same thing at the same time, right? I know, it's like all those twins that are separated at birth, and they, they like feel pain when the other one gets an arm amputated. Or... Totally. So you're wearing your orange wig, which is... Right, my Twist Up color. Yes, you're showing your support. And you're in LA now, so what do you think of the um, the tech vibe in LA? How is it keeping up with Silicon Valley? Well, um, what I found is really interesting. When I first moved to the Bay, to LA, I, I, there was no tech community that I could find. Um, it was like there had been some other events, Vic, some other kind of communities that had formed, but there was nothing actively happening. And I have this great story to tell. The first year uh, I was here, I went to a Halloween party. And I was talking to people, and I met this guy, and he was like, what do you do? And I said, oh, I'm a tech geek. And he said, oh, I'm a tech geek, too. And I was like, awesome, what do you do? And he says, I do audio engineering. And I was just like, oh, really? Because, <laughs> like, audio engineering is not the kind of technology exactly. that I'm talking about. Yeah. Um, so what I've done in the last year and a half is um, I have coordinated the Los Angeles Geek Dinners, which is a monthly gathering of people interested and passionate about technology. We just like sit down, have dinner, have drinks, talk, and people from a lot of different companies, um, independents, people starting companies, because there are a lot of things happening in LA. The technology industry in LA is really overshadowed by the entertainment industry, 
and in Silicon Valley, people are so focused on building technology for the technologists that in Los Angeles, we actually like look about having like an active business model and building technology that can be used by people. And I think that for technology to really kind of expand and uh, go through the rest of the world and like really like cross the chasm into mainstream, like technology has been really mostly for like uh, the subculture of the technologists. That's changing today. Anyone who has broadband, anyone who has a computer, anyone who has like half a notion about how to program knows Ruby on Rails and like programming and creating a software site and uh, a piece of an application is not even like a quarter as difficult today as it was five, ten years ago. Um, it's so much easier and that is really making a lot of people enter that space and build a lot of communities and applications and sites for people to make things happen. There's technologies and sites for real people as opposed to like the total like early adopters who were geeks everyone. Technology is hip, just not among the technologists anymore. Well, I think we can tell from looking at this party that technology has definitely gotten cool. And I'm excited to see where you guys go next from here. Thank you so much for talking to me tonight. You're welcome.